In this video, we're going to learn how to sum the digits in a number with recursion in C++. So if we have the number 237, the sum of the digits in this number is 2 plus 3 plus 7, which is going to give us 12. We want to write a recursive function to find the sum of the digits in a non-negative integer. There's a simple algorithm we can use. So if we take the number 237, if we divide that number by 10, we'll get here 237 divided by 10 is equal to 23 remainder 7. Because if we take 10 and multiply it by 23, that's going to give us 230. And then if we add 7, we'll get 237. Next, if we take this number here, the quotient, and divide it by 10, we'll get here 23 divided by 10 is equal to 2 remainder 3. So notice how by applying this process, we're getting each digit in the number as a remainder of the division operation. We'll keep going. We'll take this quotient and we'll divide it by 2. We'll have 2 divided by 10 is equal to 0 remainder 2. So at this point, we have all three digits in the number, and we could add them together. We could stop this process once the quotient is zero. Now in C++, there's two operators which are going to help us implement this algorithm. So first, the modulus operator is going to give us the remainder of a division operation. So if we have 237 and we do percent 10, Percent is the modulus operator. It's going to give us back the remainder of a division operation. So 237 modulus 10 is going to give us back 7. The integer division operation in C++ is slash. So 237 slash 10 is going to give us back the quotient 23. So we can use these two operators together to implement our recursive solution. The function is going to be supplied with a number as an argument. The function being recursive is supposed to call itself again with a smaller version of the same problem. So what the function will do is take that number and divide it by 10 using C++'s integer division operation. That's going to give us back the quotient and the function will call itself with that quotient. So the function would first be called with 237, then with 23, then with two, then with zero. Now once the function is called with zero, that's when recursion can stop. Now all along the way, as the function is being called, we'll also use the modulus operator to extract each digit in the number and sum them. So let's implement this function now. Up here, we'll have int because the function is going to return an int, the sum of the digits. We'll call the function sum underscore digits. The function is going to accept an int number as an argument. So we'll call the parameter int number. Now the function is going to return number modulus 10 where this is going to be the next digit in the number. Then we'll add to this the return value of calling some digits with number divided by 10, where number divided by 10 is going to give us a number with the rest of the digits in this number here after this digit has been extracted. This is called the recursive step of the algorithm. This is when the function calls itself. What we need is the base step in the algorithm when recursion is going to stop. So we're going to stop recursion when the number is equal to zero. So we'll have here, if the number is equal to zero, then we're just going to return zero in this case. And we call this the base step or the base case in the recursive algorithm because at this point, the function doesn't call itself. Instead, it just returns zero. So if we imagine how this function is going to work, let's say it's called with 
let's say 237. What's going to happen is we're going to take this number and apply modulus 10. That's going to give us back seven. Then we'll add to that the results of calling some digits with number divided by 10, which is going to give us 23. Now this function call is going to result in this. We'll have some digits, 23 is equal to, and 23 modulus 10 is going to give us back three. Then we'll add to that the result of calling some digits when it's past number divided by 10, which is going to give us two. So this function call here is going to result in three plus some digits when it's past two. So we'll copy that and paste it here. Now some digits when it's called with two is going to result in this. We'll have some digits two is equal to where two modulus 10 is going to give us back two. Then we'll add to that the result of calling some digits with number divided by 10. Two divided by 10 is going to give us back zero. So here we'll have some digits when it's called with zero. So really this call to some digits with the argument two is going to result in two plus some digits when it's called with zero. Now some digits when it's called with zero is going to be the base step because when the number is equal to zero, the function is just going to return zero. So some digits when it's called with zero is just going to be equal to zero. So finally, this call to some digits with zero as an argument is going to result in zero. So we'll get that seven plus three plus two plus zero is equal to 12. And that's what some digits when it's called with 237 is going to return. Let's now test out the function. So down here in main, we'll prompt the user to enter a number. We'll have a variable of type int called number to store the number. Then we'll prompt the user to enter a number with C out and then enter number colon. Then we'll use C in to store the number the user enters into the variable number. Then we'll call the function sum digits with that number as an argument. And we'll output the result using C out. So here we'll have C out and we'll have digits sum colon. We'll output the result followed by an inline. Now, if we save compile and run the program and enter in 237, we do get back 12. So this is how we can sum the digits of a number using recursion with C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.